Because see, the release was going to come around regularly. The Lord decreed every seven years. In other words, there's going to be a cycle to this thing. I've set it in motion so that every once in a while, there's going to come a season or a time that I have declared to be my season of release where I'm going to help those that can't help themselves. I know everybody says the Lord helps those that help themselves, but I think the Lord helps those that can't help themselves, that are trying to help themselves and are getting further behind every day. He said, I'm going to come down and fix this thing. You see, the release was a guarantee. The release was divine insurance that there would be a time limit on how long they would live with debts they were unable to repay. There would be a time limit for how long you were stuck in circumstances that you could not fix by your own doing. There'll be a time limit for how long you're in the trial. I'm gonna prophesy to somebody here tonight. If I'm reading this Bible right and I understand the principle right, Pastor, the Lord put something in motion to say you may get yourself in trouble. You may find yourself in a mess. You may end up in a disaster. But I have set a time limit on your suffering. I have put a time limit on your trial. Come on, you know the Bible, it says weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Weeping has its time, but there's a time limit on how long you're going to cry before the joy returns to your life. I said there's a time limit on your grieving. There's a time limit on your suffering. There's a time limit on your trial. What I'm here to tell you tonight, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. I'm here to tell you that before the first tear ever swelled up in your eye, before you ever first responded to the news, maybe it was a phone call, maybe it was a person-to-person bad news, maybe, maybe it was a letter, maybe it was some kind of a betrayal, maybe somebody abandoned you, betrayed you, lied on you, maybe you made a mistake and failed yourself, but I'm here to tell you, before the first pain of sorrow ever hit your heart. God set his timer. God set his timer and said, all right, you're going to weep a while. You're going to suffer a while. But after you have suffered a while, not forever, it's not going to last forever. Can I prophesy to somebody, your trial's not going to last forever. You're not going to stay in that hell and in that chaos and in that difficulty and in that suffering and in that loneliness forever. There's a season of the Lord's release and I think the Lord just wanted me to come through here tonight and prophesy releases on the way. Weeping can have the night, but joy is going to claim the morning. Weeping only gets the night. That's all it gets. It can't have the daytime. It can't have the sunrise. The sunrise is going to come up and push the weeping out of the way and say, your time is up.